Welcome to this lesson on expressions. Let's go over some important vocabulary first. A variable is a symbol for an unknown value. And it's usually a letter like X or like Y. A constant is a fixed value, something that's not going to change. And it's usually a number like 10. A term is numbers and or variables that are multiplied together. So 2x, 5y, 12c. An expression is two or more terms and they're going to be joined by addition or subtraction. So like 3x plus 10 and 6y minus 4. Those are expressions. Okay, so let's talk about how to simplify expressions. So when we simplify expressions, we want to use the order of operations, which I'm sure you have heard of before, but we're going to review it quickly. So the order of operations is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. So this is the order that you go in when you are simplifying an expression. You want to do parentheses or brackets first. Then you want to simplify any exponents. Then you want to multiply or divide from left to right. So whichever comes first from left to right. Then you want to add or subtract whichever comes first from left to right. Okay, so let's try number one. So 3 plus 10 divided by 5 times 6. So we don't have any parentheses or exponents here. So let's move on to multiplication and division. So we want to do whichever comes first from left to right. So 3 plus 10 divided by 5. So we want to do this first. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then I'm just going to bring everything else down. And then I'm going to start over. So still no parentheses, still no exponents. Now let's go to multiplication and division. So 3 plus 2 times 6. So I want to do that first. And then bring down 3 in my addition sign. And then I can just simplify 3 plus 12, which is 15. Okay, number 2. 4, and then parentheses 2 plus 6 minus 1. So we do have parentheses. Let's go ahead and simplify that first. 2 plus 6 is 8. And then we want to multiply or divide from left to right. So we have 4 parentheses 8. That's the same thing as 4 multiplied by 8. So that's 32. And then 32 minus 1 is 31. All right, number three. So we do have parentheses here, so we want to do that first. However, I have a constant, a number, and a variable, and I cannot combine those together. They are not like terms. So I'm not going to be able to simplify within the parentheses, and I don't have any exponents. I do, however, have multiplication. So four, and then a parentheses means four times the expression within the parentheses. So what I can do here is use the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 5, which is 20. And then I'm going to bring down my addition sign. And then 4 times x, which is 4x. And then bring down my plus 8. Okay. Now I want to see if I have any like terms I can add. And I do, I have a 20 and 8, so that would be 28. And then I can bring down my 4x. Okay, stop the video now and try number 4 by yourself. It's very similar to number 3. Okay, let's see how you did. So I'm going to use the distributive property again. So 2 times y is 2y minus 2 times 7 is 14. And then bring down my 
plus 6. And then I have like terms here. Negative 14 plus 6, that's negative 8. So 2y minus 8. All right, number 5. Let's see, we do have parentheses and we have exponents here. So let's do parentheses first. However, I can't simplify inside those parentheses because those are not like terms. So we don't have anything for the parentheses. Let's do the exponent next. So I have 3 squared, that's 9. All right, so I have parentheses done, exponents done. Now I have multiplication and division. So 6 times x minus 1, that's multiplication. And again, we're going to use the distributive property. So 6 times x is 6x. Six, 6 minus 1 is 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And now I have like terms. I have two constants, 9 minus 6. That's 3. So I'm going to bring down my 6x. And then 9 minus 6, that's positive 3, so plus 3. All right, and then on number 6, again, we don't have anything in the parentheses that we can simplify, but we do have an exponent, 5 squared. So that would be 25. And now I can distribute. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 4 times y is negative 4y minus 25. And I'm going to bring down my negative 4y. And then I'm going to combine. I have negative 12 minus 25. That's negative 37. Now one thing before we move on. Look back to number 3. Notice on number three, I had the constant first and then the term with a variable. We're going to get into standard form more in the next lesson, but standard form, you want to write the variable first and then the constant, so 4x plus 28. Okay, let's move on to evaluating expressions. So to evaluate an expression, you substitute... The value in for the correct variable. So an example, evaluate 2x plus 8 when x equals 5. So I'm going to take 5 and substitute it in for x. So this is what I mean. I'm going to rewrite the expression, so 2, but instead of writing x, I'm going to substitute in 5. And I want to put it in parentheses because it's not 25, it's 2 multiplied by 5. All right, so 2 times 5, that's 10, plus 8, that would give me 18. Okay, and then the next one, so evaluate 3x minus 9y when x equals 2 and y equals 1. So I'm going to rewrite the expression, but I'm going to substitute in my values for x and y. So 3 times 2, that's 6. 9 times 1, that's 9. So 6 minus 9, that's negative 3. All right, let's try some more examples. So number 1, evaluate 3x plus 10 when x equals 5. So I'm going to substitute in my 5. All right, so... 5 plus 10 is 15. 3 times 15, that's 45. Number 2, evaluate 4y plus 3x minus 10 when x equals 4 and y equals negative 1. Okay, so let me substitute in my variables. So 4 times negative 1 plus 3 times 4 minus 10. So I'm just substituting 4 in for x, negative 1 in for y. Okay, so 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Bring down my negative 10. So negative 4 
plus 12, that's 8, minus 10, that's negative 2. All right, number three, evaluate two times three x plus five y plus seven when x equals two and y equals negative five. All right, so x is two. I'm gonna use a little parentheses here since I already have parentheses open. y is negative five. Okay, so let's simplify inside the parentheses first. So I have 3 times 2, that's 6. 5 times negative 5, that's negative 25. All right, I still can simplify within the parentheses, so 6 minus 25 is negative 19. All right, now I'm going to multiply 2 times negative 19. That gives me a negative 38 plus seven, and that gives me negative 31. All right, number four, simplify the expression. So let's start with parentheses. There's nothing I can simplify within the parentheses. Those are not like terms, so I can't combine them. So I can multiply. So I'm gonna distribute this three. Three times x is three x. Three times two y is six y and then bring down my minus two. And none of those are like terms because I have an X and a Y and then a constant. So that is as simple as I can go. Pause the video now and see if you can do five through eight by yourself. Okay, let's see how you did. So number five, I want to substitute in negative four for X negative three for a y. Notice I'm putting the exponent on the outside of the parentheses. That's super important, especially when you have a negative because you wanna square the whole negative four, not just four. Okay, so negative four squared, that's positive 16. Negative nine squared, or negative three squared is nine. And then bring down your negative 15. 16 plus nine is 25. Minus 15, that's 10. All right, number six, simplify the expression. I can't simplify within the parentheses, so I'm going to distribute 5y plus 5x squared. And that is as simple as I can go. Number seven, check the parentheses first can't simplify within there, so I'm going to distribute. And I actually have two expressions that I need to distribute here, so let's do the negative five first. So that would be negative five x minus 15 y. And then I'm gonna bring down this plus and then distribute the two. So two times two w is four w. Two times negative four p is negative eight p. None of those are like terms, they're all different variables, so that is as simple as I can make it. All right, and then on number eight, substitute in my variables, four for y and two for x. So I'm gonna do my exponent first, so four cubed is 64. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply these. 5 times 2 is 10, and then plus 10. Let's see, 7 times 64, that gives me 448. And negative 10 and positive 10, that's going to give me 0. So that's my final answer, 448. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete the practice and check it with your teacher.